What's up guys? I'm really excited about today's video. We're going to be drop testing the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus in the My Carbon 3M1 rugged case. I'm especially excited about today's video because we haven't done very many Android phones lately. This will be the first flagship Android phone we were doing. More to come, so be sure to subscribe if you want to check those out. Now we're going to be doing this drop test from 2 feet, 4 feet, 6 feet, 8 feet, and 10 feet. And behold the magnificent 10 foot ruler that was made yesterday. I'm really proud of it. I think it looks pretty sweet. Anyway, let's get to the drop test. It's going to be great. All right, so the My Carbon 3-in-1 comes with a soft inner layer, a hardened outer shell, and a belt clip. Then we also have a toughened glass, tempered glass screen protector, and there's links to these both in the description down below. Let's go ahead and throw the phone in the case and see how she does. Screen protector. There we go. We are officially in business. So we're doing all these tests on the face down orientation. Doesn't have to land perfectly, but we just want to be testing that part of the case because it's probably the weakest part. All right, so we're going to start with two feet, dropping it in three, two, one. All right, let's see how it did. Pulling it up. Looks like it's just fine. Very good, let's move on to the forefoot. All right, so far so good. Forefoot drop on the face in three, two, one. Okay, let's see how it did. Looks like it's okay still. Very good. Looks like the case has just a little bit of scuffing on it down here and a few scratches on the hard plastic, but that's not bad at all. Let's uh, move on to the six foot. Moving on to the six foot drop in three, two, one. Ooh, that was a good impact. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's see how it did. Looks like we've got some definite scuffing here. And look at this, the screen protector actually cracked a little bit, because this is actually a tempered glass screen protector. Like uh, if it was just plastic, it would not crack like this. Uh, but it does not actually feel rigid to the finger, so it's okay. You could still use the screen protector just like this without a problem. Let's move on to the eight foot drop and see how it does. This is surprisingly high. You don't even realize how high eight feet is until you're actually you know, standing on a ladder this high. Okay, so. Dropping it from eight feet in three, two, one. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so that's just cracked a little bit worse than it was before. And I can kind of feel a little bit of the hairline scratch now when I burn my finger over it. Other than that, it's just more scratched on the hard plastic and a little more scuffed on the rubber. So it looks like the tempered glass screen protector actually is fully cracked across the screen now. But at the end of the 10 foot drop, let's see if the actual phone screen is cracked in any way. I was about to say wind, and then he like dropped it. I was like, oh, no. One. Yep. And, oh my goodness, look at that. Tempered glass screen protector just shattered all over the place. <laughs> Still recording? That's great. All right, let's 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 go ahead and take the case off and see what damage to the phone there was, if there's any at all. Hopefully there's none. Okay, so so far the phone looks pretty good. No scratches or dents or dings at all on the entire phone. So just taking a look at this case, 
Looks like we got some serious scuffing right there and some scratches along the hard plastic, but overall this case is doing just fine. And here's the screen protector. It looks like the screen protector itself is really hardcore shattered, but that's understandable considering how high it dropped from. And look at that, the screen itself is just fine. No issues at all, no damage. This thing looks brand new after all those drops. Overall, I'm really impressed with this case combo pack. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this this very light, uh, soft material did come up on impacts, and that did lead to the tempered glass actually directly taking some of the impacts, resulting in it shattering. Now, this is a very nice to touch tempered glass uh, screen protector. It feels just like the glass from the phone. These typically run around $22 to $23, and a normal screen protector that is just, you know, plastic might protect the phone just as well, may or may not. I'm not sure. It'd be interesting to test. But those ones only cost three to five dollars or twenty dollars, depending on where you buy. You buy the Best Buy, it's probably twenty. You buy it online, you can probably get them for about five or six bucks. But the tempered glass definitely are more expensive, but they feel better with the finger. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're looking to buy this case. Now, how much is this case? I this case runs for about eleven ninety nine plus. It goes on sale sometimes, more or less. I do have a thirty percent off coupon from Cellular Outfitter and uh, you can get both the tempered glass screen protector and the case from them and all together you can get 30 percent off your order which is just incredible so uh, i have the code in the video description down below they service millions of people and uh, they have lots of other cases as well for other types of phones if you're looking for you know a case for the s6 you know they'd have that as well um, or an iphone or whatever phone you're looking for so Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm looking forward to drop testing and just destroying and having more fun with phones in the future. That's it for this video, guys. See you soon. Boom! Oh my god! Whoa. Whoa.